What's up guys, I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. Today we're going to show you how to install the Megamoto 8105 front brake kit. model do we have up on the table? This is the Megamoto 80, but it's highly modified. We've got the little extension kit in the back. Uh, motor's pretty optimal. So what kit are we putting on this bike? Uh, the MM80-105 front brake kit. What all comes with it? Everything. It's the brakes, like the pre-pump kit, already ready to bolt on. All the brackets you need to bolt it onto the hydraulic forks, the disc, and the wheel. The Megamoto 80105 front brake kit, why does someone want it? For high speed riding like we do on these bikes, with this engine in particular, you really, it, it helps to have the front brakes. When you're going 60, 65, it's really nice to be able to stop. So with this purchase, they're getting... When you receive this kit and open the box, everything you're gonna pull out is right here on the table. Have the axle bolt nut washers this is the whole bracket kit for this brake system you have the part that clamps onto the forks along with the brackets that attach the brake caliper to it with the spacers and then the sticky pads for the collars at your disc the pre-pumped big caliper front brake kit eight bolts for the wheel for the brake disc onto the wheel we did eight because sometimes these heads strip out, so we just put an extra for insurance. Last thing in the kit is the wheel. It's a six inch Megamoto 80105 rear wheel that we're gonna use as a front. You will buy a tire and put it on or put on your old tire. In this kit, you will need a four millimeter Allen wrench, six millimeter Allen wrench, three sixteenths Allen wrench, You'll need cleaner and a rag. You will need a three quarter inch socket, 10 mil socket, eight mil socket, and a driver to operate those. Three quarter inch wrench and a pair of dikes. Helping me today is Junior. All right, so we are gonna mount the brake disc on the opposite side of the valve stem just for easier access. So, six hole brake disc. These, the head on those can strip out pretty easy, like Taylor said, so we're going to hand start all of these and do them as much by hand as, as we can before we start getting a tool out and going after them. Yeah, these are <clears throat> four millimeter. And the reason we're using these button head screws is because the head is short. If we did like a normal bolt, the head would end up hitting the inside of the fork. So, That's a good tip. there we are. So the next thing that we can work on is this piece. We're gonna take the two three sixteenths uh, Allen bolts out, and then we're gonna clean this with carbon choke cleaner that way our little sticky pads adhere to it good so in between these two split collars there is a quarter inch lock washer that lock washer must be in there when you go to clamp this down on your fork if that lock washer is not in there you will collapse your fork and ruin it Like most of our products, we recommend fitting it up before you decide to paint it. All right, so we have two half inch by two inch sticky strips. These are little foam strips. So take each one of these, the inside of that split collar. These sticky strips are to keep this piece from damaging the paint on your forks. The Allen head bolts go back through, the quarter inch lock washers go on. All right. Now 
Now let's, we're gonna mount this a little higher than we think it should be. That way it doesn't interfere with anything later. Um, you'll understand after we get the wheel and tire back on and the other bracket. Um, do not clamp these all the way down yet because if you do that and you try to pull it down, it'll peel those sticky foam pieces off. So let's go ahead and get the tire on. We've got seven spacers or washers. Five of them are going to go on the side with the brake disc. Two of them are going to go on the other side. There we are. Now, as we were taking this apart, Taylor loosened this up. If you loosen that up, it makes it a lot easier to pull this a hair out so you can get all of the spacers in on this side. Two spacers. This is on the non-disc brake side. There we are. All right, so now we've got five spacers on this side. So I'm gonna move this Ford Taylor push that bolt through here more. There we are. All right. Now, since this is loosened up a hair, <laughs> I'm going to rotate that and then push it to where it's in line. All right, Taylor. All right, five spacers, two spacers. You have to use all five. I promise loosening that up is a good tip. So now we're gonna add our ax axle mounting bracket to this side and get our nut started. Sweet. All right. All right, so now we're gonna put our brake on. Um, when you get this, it should have a spacer in here that keeps the, the two pads from compressing. We've got our axle mounting bracket on. We've got two spacers, two 8 mil bolts with lock washers. You must use the lock washers. We've scooted this bracket down until the holes are about in line with those holes. Okay, That's the height positioning that you want it to be because these bolts go through all four brackets. So first, I'm just going to do one bolt at a time. I've got those. And just wiggle it around until you get there. And now I'm going to bring this brake up, put it on the disc. Line my hole up again and just start that. Just start it, but don't worry about any amount of tightness. So now I have the next 8 mil bolt goes through. There we are. And That is also started in the brick. All right. So 10 mil socket, get those going a little each. Nothing's cross threaded. It's not taking any effort to do this. Tighten those up until your lock washers are compressed. Give it a bit of torque, don't overdo it. The brake itself is aluminum. You'll tear it up if you go too hard. All right, so now we're gonna tighten down the axle. Sweet. We're gonna tighten down this bracket. We're going to retighten these. And then we're going to run our brake up to the handlebar. 
and that'll be pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna route this brake up through here. And then we will attach it right there. All right, so before we even take it down, we're gonna make sure that our brake is working. So we're gonna give it a few squeezes. All right, Taylor's on the Megamoto 80 trying to do a stoppy with the front brake kit we just installed. Good luck, Taylor. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the new clean. What do I say? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and sign up for our weekly newsletter. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and sign up for our weekly newsletter. Thank you. Good job. This is pretty sweet, dude. That yeah. stops good. Yeah, seeing you take it all the way up makes it really good. And if you shift your weight back, makes it a little easier to not feel like you're going to.